Good morning to everyone and uh, welcome to this new webinar session. My name is uh, Alessandro Messina and uh, today um, I'm going to introduce EDC, Electrical Testing Solutions for Electric Motors and their components. In the presentation, we will see a um, brief introduction to electrical test for electric motors, stators and rotors focusing on the great importance of the partial discharge measurement, both in R&D and production environment. Then we will see a um, general overview of the EDC product range. This is Marpos headquarter located in Ventivoglio near Bologna in Italy. Marpos is a worldwide leader in uh, measuring systems and uh, process control for production environment, operating in uh, many different industries. Marpos Group is present in uh, 34 countries with uh, more than 80 offices for sales and uh, service network. Due to the fast diffusion of the electric motor on a large scale, in particular for the automotive sector, its uh, reliability has become more and more important. That's why manufacturers focus on a production shift towards higher quality classes. EDC, part of um, Marpos Group since July 2020, is a company specialized in the design and the production of testing systems of electric motors and their components in lab and production environment. The strengths of EDC compared to the main competitors is the high specialization in parcel discharge measurements. More than 20 years of experience allowed to develop a um, technology that um, identify 100% of defects. Even the latent ones that uh, standard tests such as uh, iPod and uh, Sarge cannot identify. In 1998, EDC was the first European company to integrate the parcel discharge measurement in the production systems. Several customers in uh, automotive and uh, industrial motor industry have chosen EDC after several comparative tests with uh, other competitor systems. And uh, so EDC has become their uh, reference in the testing of windings with parcel discharge measurement. EDC starts to deliver equipment with parcel discharge tests over 20 years ago. And uh, today the system installed worldwide are over 8,000, 8, 75% 8, outside Italy. Now, a brief introduction to the standard electrical tests for electric motors and their components. The main high voltage standard insulation test used to identify failures in the motor windings are IC, DC, dielectric strength test, surge test, and insulation resistance test. The electric strength test or iPod test is uh, typically used to check potential defects between windings and housing and between also um, windings of two different phases if they haven't a common point. The, the start point is disconnected. Having physical separation between the two elements, a high voltage sinusoidal signal at uh, 50, 60 Hertz can be applied. The iPod test can also be carried out applying a DC voltage. Such test is used to identify defects inside a winding. 
for example, in case of um, round shape Y, uh, it may be stressed from the winding machine if uh, its speed is too high. In this case, having uh, two terminals of the same uh, winding, only a pulse voltage signal can be applied. The standard electrical tests described are not enough to identify all types of failure. That's to say that they are useful if wire insulation are already damaged. But if the wires um, have only a contact with uh, another one or with the housing without damage, the limits of the test become obvious because the testing voltage should be high enough to cause high energy discharge that uh, completely open the um, insulation materials between the two contact points. Many defects produce only partial discharge and can be identified only using uh, the partial discharge method that uh, not replace the standard test, but uh, it uh, has to be performed in addition to the standard test. This is an example of um, a typical fault that uh, occur when a wire outside the stator slot touches the stack. If the wire has the um, animal scratched in the contact point with the stack, even the standard iPod test is able to identify the fault. But as uh, commonly happens, if the wire is well insulated, the um, voltage applied during the iPod test, even if quite high, could be not sufficient to break the remaining insulation material and this fault cannot be identified. With the uh, measurement of partial discharge carried out at the same time of the iPod test, the 100% of these defects are always identified and filtered. In other words, the partial discharge measurement allow to detect all latent defects that could generate failure of e-motors after short uh, operating times. This is especially true um, for electric motors uh, powered by inverter, like the electric vehicles, that generate more stress to the motor windings due to the um, inevitable voltage overshooting. The consequence of permanent partial discharge is a slow but uh, continuous weakening of the functional parts of the insulation. A continuous erosion of the insulation at the um, defective location. This inevitably uh, causes a localized weakening of the insulation which uh, will soon um, not be able to resist the stress. And this leads to a complete breakdown and uh, so to um, a failing of the electric motor. The goal should be to have no partial discharge in the electric motor during operation. In this slide, we can see the main insulation issues detectable only with partial discharge in case of high pin status. High pin could touch another one. Normally, the distances indicated with K in the picture must be kept constant. But uh, there are manufacturing difficulties in doing so and uh, therefore this cannot be guaranteed. The insulation paper could be not completely inserted or missing or damaged into the slot. And I've been touching the stack, the, the housing, due to paper insulation problems that generates an insulation loss. 
In case of stator wound with uh, round wire, the main insulation issues between windings and step, detectable only with partial discharge, could be a wire out of, the, of the, the, the slot that touches the stack, an insulation paper not completely inserted, a piece of wire left inside the winding. And between windings, the main insulation issues could be partial short circuit between turns of the same windings, cross with uh, contact of wires from different winding and uh, short circuit between turns of uh, different phases due to phase insulator not properly positioned. EDC partial discharge testing method is based on capacitor coupling technology. Other solutions based, based on different technology are available on the market such as the antenna method, which is the, the most popular, and it uses a special antenna to detect the electromagnetic radiation emitted by partial discharge. Detailed comparative benchmarks were performed by research institutes, such as the Aachen University, to compare different measurement technologies show and showing that the ADC capacitor coupling sensitivity is comparable to antenna, but it's mm, definitely more robust compared to electromagnetic noise, um, so more suitable for the use in the production environment. So to sum up, the main technical limits of the antenna solution are higher sensitivity to external noises, um, need to keep the antenna close to the sample under test, and worse repeatability compared to cap capacitor coupling method that is used by EDC instrument. And now we see a general overview of uh, EDC product range. EDC offers a wide range of uh, testing systems, both for production and laboratory environments for electric motors and their components. Testing system for uh, production are AST, in line of line stator tester, 7150 rotor tester for brushless motor and cage rotor for induction motor, AMT, that is the end of line test bench for uh, e motor with or without load. Testing system for lab are LT400, that is an instrument for advanced uh, winding and selection quality analyzers. And uh, ATC, that is a dynamometer for uh, load test and uh, life simulation cycle for complete e-motors. AST is the family for the automatic stator tester for production line. That includes partial discharge measurement. AST can be manual or integrated in line and uh, can perform a series of low voltage tests to check windings characteristics uh, of the status, such as uh, winding ohmic resistance test, including the unbalanced check and the temperature compensation, ohmic resistance test to check the temperature sensors, inductance and uh, parasitic capacitance test. And a series of high voltage tests to check the insulation defects such as iPod test with AC sinusoidal voltage or DC voltage, insulation resistance test, surge test, a partial discharge measurement that in production can be performed during iPod test, during surge test, and has sinusoidal or impulsive PDIV test, 
partial discharge injection voltage at a fixed voltage value. The measurements of partial discharge runs um, concurrently with high pot test and surge test. And they require no additional test time and allow to find defects also where the standard test do doesn't detect any variation. The only way to detect the latent defects without a test of partial discharge would be to apply a very high voltage in order to perforate the dielectric of the insulation wire, generating a big discharge that is detected by the standard test. But this method causes very high stress to the state of windings with um, negative effects on the electric motor life. With the partial discharge measurement, the 100% of latent defects are detected, applying very lower voltage, generating no stress to the windings. The PDIV test, partial discharge inception voltage, allows to check in production the system insulation quality of the unit under test, verifying if it is equal or better of the minimum insulation quality defined in laboratory. In production, the PDIV test is performed at a testing voltage in which the partial discharge values must be equal to zero. If not, it means that the motor has not a permanent failure, but it has a potential failure that will occur during its uh, operating life. The PDIV test can also verify the impregnation process by measuring the um, improvement in insulation properties in terms of uh, PDIV value of the same stator before and after the impregnation phase. Moreover, the PDIV test can verify if during the endurance test or life test of the device, the insulation system begins to degrade its quality. These are examples of uh, fully automatic testing station that uh, EDC can offer to the customer thanks to the synergy with Marcos. Turnkey solutions for electrical testing station for stator in this case, but also for rotors and uh, completing motors with a high level of automation. Automatic rotor tester for brushless motor with permanent magnets. The test bench perform back EMF analysis ripple test and point-to-point uh, -point amplitude analysis in order to check the rotor quality before the motor assembly. The rotor is uh, loaded in the test bench between centers, normally in vertical position, and a three-phase sample stator, part of the bench, is positioned to incorporate the rotor under test. Rotating the rotor, the signals from the stator's terminals are acquired and then the back EMF analysis is, is performed, giving accurate information about the magnetization of the permanent magnets. And here we see the automatic tester of uh, cage rotors. The bench allows to identify the mechanical faults and the rotor bores defects. The cage in aluminum or copper is usually made by die casting directly into the slot of the stack of sheet. The rotor under test is placed in rotation in the machine and a special probe designed by EDC generates a magnetic field and acquire the signal induced by H bar when they crossing the magnetic field. 
The acquired signal is processed by a special algorithm that identifies all kinds of defects, such as uh, broken bar, porosity, holes, eccentricity of the bar, uh, and so on. The test can be performed after die casting operation in order to detect the bigger defect of the cage bars. And uh, after turning process, the finished rotor can be tested to detect smaller defects of the cage bars. And uh, this is an um, example of a fully automatic station with robot for testing of uh, rotors in production line. AMT is the family of the automatic testing for complete assembled electric motor. This is a typical end-of-line test bench of e-motors in production. The system can be realized to be integrated in-line or offline for operator use. The test bench can be provided with or without active brake in order to perform load or no load tests, depending on customer requirements. The solution without load allows to perform a very fast test and can be useful when the cycle time is short. The electrical tests, such as iPod, surge, parcel discharge, and so on, are also carried out on a motor completely assembled in order to verify that no defects were done during the final assembly of the e motor. LT400 is an equipment designed for testing in lab and quality control departments that perform high voltage tests, AC and pulse, with parcel discharge measurement. Used in lab or and quality department, it allows an analysis for selection of the best components, like uh, wires, uh, insulators, phase separators, and so on, to identify after how many hours of uh, life test a permanent degradation of the insulation quality occurs in the product under test. And moreover, it can verify the impregnation process by measuring the same uh, stator before and after the impregnation process. The EDC lab machines are um, use the same software of the production line. This means that um, we can transfer the parameters optimized during the device uh, development in lab one by one has test parameters in the production machines. LT400 perform high, vol high voltage tests. And we have uh, an AC generator 50, 60 Hertz in order to perform high pot test. And uh, in addition, we can measure parcel discharge. A pulse generator in order to perform surge test and in addition, partial, partial discharge measurement. A scanning test that is a particular function in which we can apply to the unit under test an in increasing voltage, AC or pulse, up to detect the inception voltage and the extinguish voltage values. The value of the inception voltage found with the scanning test allows to determine the optimized voltage value to perform the PDIV test in production. And then the last two, the insulation resistance test and the DC iPod test. LT400 is able to perform all of these tests with a single electronics unit, giving the possibility to choose the desired test sequence. 
ATC is the dynamometer family for uh, motor characterization for the analysis of electrical and dynamic characteristics of the electric motor. It's a test bench uh, typically for lab or uh, R&D department. And uh, to finish, some uh, EDC references. The, um, the main customers of EDC are leaders in the industry of industrial motors, automotive uh, includes electric vehicles, industrial machines, buildings of automation, appliances, electromechanical components, and so on. Approximately 75% of uh, EDC sales are uh, exported from Italy. So the presentation is uh, arrived at the end. Uh, here there are my contact details. So thank uh, all of you for your attention and for attending this webinar.